everybody, welcome to the Be Merry class. I'm so excited that you decided to take this class. I think that you are just going to be so thrilled with the results. And these books, if you've never had a chance to work with one before, these seven, there are seven Gypsies double paged albums. They are amazing. They offer so many possibilities. Once you work with this, you're just going to want to run out and buy a couple so you can make them for all different occasions. So I've put everything on the website or emailed it to you about what measurements to cut for each page. And the way I like to lay things out is I like to go through my, after I cut everything out, I like to go through and lay it out page by page what pieces I need. So that makes it go a lot smoother when you're putting it together. Um, so we'll go ahead, if you want to pause right now and go ahead and do that, set everything out page by page, then you can follow along with me really quickly. And um, we'll start with the cover. I'm going to First, well, I take that back. We're not going to start with the cover. First, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the album so that we can take the pages out and make the cuts that we need to make on the pages. And then um, we'll go ahead and start with the cover after that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I said we were going to start out with the cover or with disassembling the book, but I lied. <laughs> I totally forgot that we have glitter letters to make. So um, I'm sorry for those of you that have watched another video of me doing this before, but for those of you that haven't, I just want to show you real quick what we're, how we're going to do this. Um, there is not glitter included in the kit because it was too messy to include, so I've put that on the supply list. If you didn't get the glitter because it was not a requirement, you can easily paint or ink um, your letters. They do not have to be glittered, but I just want to show those of you that went out and got the glitter how to do this in case you aren't, in case you don't know how. Um, so there are two ways. You can either start out by inking your letter just to give it more of a um, you know, brown background since you're gonna put brown glitter on it. And that way, if there's any you know little spots where there's no glitter, it'll look more smooth just because there's because the back of it is already brown. I'm not gonna be real precise here. Um, but if you don't want to do that step, you don't have to. In my sam on my sample, I did not do that step, so it's definitely not a must. I just want to show it to you. I also wanted to show you that just so that you know if you want to ink your letters, you can do it just like that. You don't have to have any special tools, and then it looks like you painted them, but you didn't have to spend the time. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take our paper glaze, and we are just going to put a thin coat and of course mine's gonna be clogged. Hold on here, let me get it unclogged real quick. Actually, I don't have the tool, so I'm gonna be really messy, and I'm just gonna put it on with my finger. <laughs> See, you don't need any tools for this. Just get Okay, just smooth that on there. This is called improvising and I'm really good at that because I do it all the time in my on my pages <laughs> okay cover that letter there with a little of the paper glaze and then just take your glitter I'm using the Martha Stewart brownstone glitter and just dump it all over your letter I always do this on a sheet of paper so that I can pick my letter up shake off the excess and then have a way to easily dump it dump that excess glitter back into the jar okay now there is your glittered letter now you have to let this dry for quite a while because the paper glaze takes a while to dry after it dries the glitter is going to want to flake off so um if you don't like that which a lot of people don't that's why a lot of people don't like to use glitter after this dries and is completely dry, so I'd say give it, you know, a good 12 hours, you can take your paper glaze and put another layer over the top. This will seal in the glitter and make it so that it doesn't flake off on you. It will dull the shimmer a little bit, but, you know, not enough to make it not look glittery anymore. It'll just make it so that it doesn't flake everywhere for you. So those are your letters okay so go ahead and do whatever you would like to with your letters whether it be paint it or ink them or what whatever you decide and we will set those aside for now to dry
because we want to give them enough time so that they're not uh, smearing everywhere. And we'll move on to disassembling the book. Now, your album comes like this. Well, if you look at these pages, they're, they're kind of funky looking. <laughs> and you think, well, what's all that wasted space in there? Well, that's what we're gonna learn with this class that I'm so excited to teach you. But in order to work with these, we've gotta take them out of the book. So, if you flip it over, or actually, let's see, they're all a little bit different. If you flip it over like this, so your covers are together, and then all of your pages are here. Now remember this, because this is how we're going to put it back together. So the front and back cover are facing each other and it exposes the pieces on the binding. You see how easy it is to just pull it apart with your fingers, like so, and then you can just slip the rings right off. So go ahead and do that, and if you've ever seen, you know, not even necessarily this book, but other books that are bound like that, if you've seen them totally covered and wondered how they've done the covers and such, that's how they take the binding off. So go ahead and, let's see. I guess we will start with cutting the pages because I think that that's going to be the most important thing to learn and the assembly is going to be very easy. So, let me get a little rearranged here for a minute. Okay. We have cut pages. Let me count real quickly here and see. We've got one, two, Okay, there's five cut pages in this book. So go ahead and grab five of your pages and I will show you what we're gonna do. Okay, for page one, I'll bring the sample over here so you can see what I'm talking about. It's got this fun little accordion. When you open up the cover, you see this page, it's got a little ribbon tab, makes you wanna open it. Now, how do we make that? Well, this is the fun part. Take your first page, and it's doubled up like this. So go ahead and open it like this with the holes facing with the left. Okay, so put open up the spread with the crease facing up. If that is that making sense with the crease facing up and then um, on the left hand side of the page you're going to want to trim off these holes so just stick it in your trimmer and cut that right off there now when this goes back in the book this is the way it's going to be this will be your first page it now enables you to turn this into an accordion. And we're not gonna be super worried about, you know, making sure it's extra, you know, perfectly measured. We're just gonna make one like you would make a fan when you were in elementary school. Just fold back one, and fold the other on top, just like that. Now, is that super easy or what? <laughs> okay, now when we put the ribbon tab on here after we assemble it, there's your accordion. Okay, and think about this. You could do an accordion that goes up and down. I mean, there's a bunch of different ways. You'll see a, fun, a couple of fun uses for this as we get through here. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this page aside because we'll come back and decorate in a little bit. We're just gonna make all of our cuts right now. Okay. Next page is going to be for page three. What we want to do here is we want to cut two and a half inches. We're going to do the same sort of thing where we want our holes to be lined up on the left hand side. Off of this top page, we're going to take two and a half inches off. So go ahead and measure that. Three and a half 
your trimmer and just slice that off there. Now, when you go and put this back in your book, you'll have a nice little flap. Okay, so set that one aside. 